do is you would go in there and tell the crowd that I have every right to film inside of that establishment. That's what you would do. You swore an oath to uphold I mean, the Constitution. I, I, I don't really. I'm all. I'm all upholding the Constitution. I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily have to do that. But you're you're under that's thirty just, years old, that's man. Just, don't I'm, you understand? I'm, no, I'm not. And you're, you're not under thirty. You no. look like you're under thirty. You look young, dude. Okay. Um, so so if I, I, I go, I have no if I go, to go in there and tell them okay. anything. I just have to tell you. But you're telling me if I go back in that you'll arrest me. And if you cause a scene, if you I'm not trying to cause a scene. Cause a scene, <laughs> you're going to be arrested for disorderly conduct. Yes. Okay, so then would you exc will you escort me inside of that DMV so that I can invoke my First Amendment right to well, film it, it, inside it, of a public space? It, nothing is, at this point is going to be orderly. Nothing you go in there and do is going to not cause a disturbance at this point. But it, you could very well calm the crowd and use your authority, the powers vested in you, to tell the crowd that I have a right not to film in there. necessarily, no. But you could. You, you very could well say, could, say could say anything, that he has sure. a First Amendment right to film in here and calm the crowd. She can't, I, she's, I'm suing her. Rosa yeah. at the DMV is being sued. Okay. I'm suing her. Like, and, and I don't know if I have to list you in the federal civil rights lawsuit or not. I'll talk to my, 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 my team. But the thing is, is I do this all over the country. I go to all kinds of places when my rights are stripped or our rights are stripped and I sue. Okay. And I don't know if you're going to be listed. Can I get your business card? Just so that no, you can't get my business card. My <laughs> name's right here. C I A R L A N T E, and this would be uh, Officer Sentak. So I was just inside of the DMV, and I went in there just to film. I respectfully explained to the supervisor that I was here to invoke my rights. I, I, I didn't raise my voice or scream at anybody. I didn't say you did. I recorded everything, and now I'm being told that if I go back in, you'll arrest me for disorderly. When you, you, all three of you gentlemen could escort me inside and explain to the crowd that I have a right to be there, the First Amendment right to be there. Sir, you have no official business to be there. You have to have official business okay. inside. It's like any other business in mm -hmm. the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. You have to have official business to oh. be in there to conduct oh. business. Oh. Two, oh. yes, I am a corporal. No, but Mr. Mr. Irwin, the thing corporal. is, is you're, you're incorrect. You're incorrect. Corporal. My business is being the press. This is my business. I have thousands of videos. This is what I do. My business right. is to get standing to sue you. Right. Okay. And I don't That's want to sue fine, you, Mr. Irwin. It's not, it's not what I want to do. Right. I, I, don't, I, don't use the, I don't use the military standards because my family's a long military family. We've served in every single war there is. Okay. And so police to me are domestic. You're not corporal, lieutenant, or captain, or sergeant. You are literally Mr. Okay. Irwin. Sorry. I respect the authority vested in you. At the same time, though, you're not respecting my rights. I'm respecting your rights. You're videotaping right now. You have every right, right but to I'm on a, I'm on a public you sidewalk. Right, you do. That's a public right. entity. So let me you protect you further. You do not have official business to be there like anything else, sir. You so you're, you're telling me, me as a member of the press, I have no official no, sir, business? No, you're not going there. Okay. I, listen, I, I, I'm not going to defy a lawful order. I won't do it. I, I'm not going to defy... If you tell me it's a lawful order, I'm not going to defy a lawful order. I will not break the law, gentlemen. I'm not here to break the law. I'm here to stand up for our rights, and you guys swore an oath to the Constitution. I expect you gentlemen, and you're incorrect. Sorry, you're free to go. No, no, sir, you're free. You're free to go, sir. Okay, so the, the, then I'll just... You are free to go. Mr. Irwin, but I just want to correct you. Are you are free to go, sir. This is not like any other business. It's not like Walmart. This is a public entity. Sir, you're you free And you're a to go. young man. You should listen to what I'm saying, because he's going to be done in a few years. You're going to have the ball. You'll be in charge, and you'll be in charge. He's totally incorrect. Everything he said was wrong. So, there so wasn't anything he said yeah, that was correct. It was all wrong. Right. I mean, you can sit out here. And yep. I'm okay with you're good. But you guys arrested a woman standing on this sidewalk just a couple weeks ago. No, you're good. Mr. Irwin, do you have a card, please, sir? Mr. Irwin, do you have a card, please? Can I, I mean, you're supposed to give me a piece of identification. We, we did. Our, our name tag. I got that. But, Mr. Irwin, you're, supposed, right there, you're supposed to have a card. But I want to email right you. I want to email you because you're giving, me inf you're giving the audience incorrect information. Okay, then I'll. Ready to go. So look, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hang out here. Okay. You, yeah, I can't sure stop you. No other I can't issue stop going you. on. But right now, you're good to go. Then why don't you join I'm me inside of there I'm and not. tell those people I have a right to film? No. Why don't you do that, Mr. Sentak? Why don't you join me in there, Mr. Irwin? Why don't you join me in there and explain to the crowd I have a right to film? I'm just filming. There's I'm not doing anything illegal. I, and I haven't defied. Have I defied any of your orders? Have I defied anything you've asked me to do? No. I won't. I won't break okay. the law. I'm being that. respectful to you guys. I haven't called you guys filthy pigs. I haven't called you any names. And I don't like cops. But I'm still being respectful to you because I just need the standing to sue this DMV. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sue Miss Rosa. I hope I don't have to sue you because I like you. <laughs> but I will sue you if I have to. Look me up. My channel's called Delete Laws. I sue all over. The I flew here to do this. Yeah, you told me that. This is why I'm here right now. I'm going to go to court for Jessica in about 15 minutes. And she's in court right now because one of you guys arrested her. Someone, one, one of your fellow brethren in the blue arrested her for standing on the sidewalk. The same thing you just told me I could stand here and film, you arrested her up in this. Uh, clear? Clear. All right. You're good.
Okay. Sounds good. Remember what I said, sir, about this first warning. It's first warning is what? Go in there, cause disturbance, then we're coming back, and then you're gonna get arrested. So if I'm standing outside and they no, and no, people get that. upset with me, then am I causing that. a disturbance? Causing a disturbance. I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. I, I told you. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, you told me you had probable cause as well. He told me that he had probable cause, and so I had to give him my identification. If the police says he has probable cause and he's going to arrest me, then you have to give him your identification. That's the law. They've told me that I can't go back into the DMV or they're going to arrest me. So they said I could stand here, but I wasn't allowed to go back into the DMV. And I, I want to hear the discussions that the police are saying. How much longer you got, Mr. Irwin? How much longer before you can retire? How much longer, sir? I mean, everything you said was wrong. I have a right. This is not, this is not a, it, like a Target or a Walmart. They can't just trespass me. course as usual as usual the, the this this uh, this this uh guy called himself Cor corporal Irwin said that i couldn't film because it's like a walmart or a target and that's completely incorrect he gave the wrong day you know he gave you the wrong data that's not true Good luck, Archer. i'm a constitutional law scholar this is what i do f your, your pad don't forget your pad sir your pad yo your pad yo that belong that that, that that belongs to you right there I, I, sh I, I showed him this. I showed the cop this. I explained to him that he he has to follow my rights. Thanks, Jose. You're welcome. You're welcome. Drive of shame right there. They drive away in shame. Every single person here should have my trifold in your car. There's no reason in the world you don't have the trifold in your car. Get the trifold, put it in your car. Always have this on you. Immediately when they came here, you guys couldn't see it because the DMV blocks your phone from being able to go live in there. Invoke your Fifth Amendment right immediately, which is exactly what I did, exactly. I invoked my First Amendment, my Fourth Amendment, my Fifth Amendment, and then I said to them out loud, this is a police protest. It's on video. I can't believe it. That they, and then and then Mr. Irwin came here and he said that this is like a Target or a Walmart and I, I wasn't allowed to be there or it's trespassing. That is simply not true. It's an absolute lie. Go to deletelaws.com and get this trifold and keep it on you at all times. You never are without your trifold ever. I also have the Fifth Amendment card coming out next week. It's like a credit card. It's exactly like a plastic credit card. I'm tired of these cops taking our rights. I'm sick of it. I'm, and I went in there, and just so you know, I had a couple people in the crowd who were like, I'm with you. And then there was, a, there was like 10 people who were like, get out of here, get out of here. It's just, it's just such crap. So just so you guys know, and I, I, wanna, I want you guys to be 100% clear, I already, we've already written the lawsuit. It's already written. And I'm going to sue this DMV. Here's the lawsuit right here. Now, I'm not sure. I think I, I, think I do have to list those cops. But here's the lawsuit right here. I've, I've, I've already written the lawsuit. And I'm going to sue these people. I'm, I'm already done it. It's already ready to go. I'm suing them. They don't get to do what they just did to me. Irwin is such a, he, he's such a tyrant. I mean, I can't believe what he just came and said. He was completely wrong. He was totally wrong about everything that he said. There wasn't a single word he said that was correct. You have a right to film. You have a, you have a right. I'm at pin dot. I want people to see exactly the DMV that I'm suing. This is, this is, the, this is the DMV that I'm suing. And I'm, I'm suing Miss Rosa, who is the supervisor. Ma'am, do you understand what I was doing in there? I don't know. 
You sorry. don't care? No, I don't care. What why, do I care? Why don't you? You held up a whole line of people. But it, for I hours. did it for you. I did, for you for did fifteen. It, for it was fifteen minutes. No, was it? It was, it was fif- an hour. It was. How not- do you know how long I went in there? Ma'am, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm timing it. It's well, on a timer. What are you timer. doing this? No, I don't understand. But what are you doing? Because it I'm for? standing up for your rights. For what rights? For your First Amendment right to be able to film in a public space. Oh, it's I my don't right. Need to film. I don't need to film in a public place. If you have nothing better to do, good. Have a good day. No, ma'am. The government's filming you. Why shouldn't we film them? Oh, back to blue till it happens to you. Hey, have a great day. You too, ma'am. Have a nice day. Stop what? That's what you're doing, disrupting. I'm disrupting? Yeah, you're disrupting because you're trying to push some of your thoughts. You, you mean my rights? Our rights? Our rights? I'm pushing our... Shit. You, who gives a shit about our rights? I don't care about your rights. You don't? No, so shut that phone up. You don't, care about, you don't care about my rights, but you care about, you care about it when it affects you, though. What? You care about it when it affects you. It does too affect you. Only by you. You affected me in there. Affected about hundreds of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's mine. Thanks. I appreciate you looking out, brother. I want to get some of the reaction from some of the people in there. There was a couple of these people who were shouting at me, and I and I I told them I'm not backing down, and I did not back down. I've already pre-written this lawsuit, and I will sue them. It's that simple. I want to get some reactions from this lady and see if she'll, uh... Ma'am, you should thank me. You're, you're welcome. You're more than welcome for what I just did for you. I'll be suing this DMV on your behalf for our rights. I'm suing this DMV. I've already written the lawsuit. <sighs> Ma'am, I didn't mean to d- inconvenience you at all. I was just standing up for our rights. So I just want you to know that. There's so many, there are so many. There are so many people who don't understand that it's our right. There's just no reason in the world. There's no reason in the world any of that should have just happened. But you remember, you're, you're dealing with people who don't understand what our rights are. They don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get that the next bastion of freedom is the camera. The government's gonna try to limit our cameras. You understand that, right? They're going to limit our cameras so that, ma'am, you're welcome to film me. The name of my channel is Delete Laws. I, I actually am used to being on film. I appreciate it if you film me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you, you want me to introduce myself, how you doing, ma'am? My name is Chili De Castro. The name of my channel is called Delete Laws. I came here to uphold our First Amendment right to film, and you actually freaked out on me. She actually freaked out on me. So she started screaming and yelling. She caused the disturbance. There's, and it's funny because the cop came up here and I explained to the officer that I have a First Amendment right to film here. He told me he would arrest me if I didn't give him my ID. And the probable cause that he stated was that I was causing a disturbance. He said he had probable cause because I was causing a disturbance. So then I explained to him, and I believe that he violated my rights, so he's probably going to get sued. I explained to him in the trifold right here, Hibble versus 6th District Court of Nevada. I explained him in clear, and I showed it to him in black and white, that he didn't have a right to get my ID without probable cause. He then threatened to arrest me and said he had probable cause. It's on video. It's, it's on video on this camera here. He then threatened to arrest me and said that he had probable cause because I was causing a disturbance and he would arrest me for disturbing the peace. Now, just so you guys know, you don't want to get arrested. At that point, you have to give your identification. If, if he's going to arrest you and says that he has probable cause, Hibble versus Nevada 6th District is no longer applicable because he doesn't have reasonable suspicion. He has probable cause. There's a big difference. So understand that. Ma'am, did you understand what I was doing in there? You, you do? Okay. I mean, they're, they're just taking our rights. I'm done. The next, the next big fight that we're going to have is our cameras because they're filming us, but we can't film them. And that's what they're doing to us. And it's us. It's not just me. I understood everything. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't mad about it. Okay, okay, because I, I had a lot of people shouting me down. No, as a matter, like, people don't understand, they don't think outside the box. They just think structure of what everybody tells them to think. Right. And there ain't nothing wrong with having somebody come in to exploit the wrong information being served to people. And they're given the misinformation. Right, and I respect what you did. Even that corporal came up and said that 
this was like a Target or a Walmart that they were that they could trespass me in a public space. No, I respect what you did. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Delete laws is the channel. Delete delete laws. So, you know, there's people here who agree with exactly what I've done, and I've like I said, you know, I've already written the lawsuit. Here's here's the lawsuit right here. I can't fill in the names until I know who we're suing exactly. I got the supervisor's name. Her name is Miss Rosa. So Miss Rosa will be being sued. I'm also gonna have to sue those cops, unfortunately. So this was in your trifold, Hibble versus Nevada 6th District Court. He said that he had probable cause. You guys will see the full video when it comes out. He said he had probable cause to arrest me. I had to give him my identification. Now I'm not, it's, it's like the ID cookie that you guys seen the ID cookie on my, on my channel. They're so obsessed with getting my identification. It was, it was unbelievable what just happened. I wish you guys could have seen it, but it was, it was, it was really horrible what just happened. It was, it was absolutely disrespectful beyond, beyond the pale. Do you guys understand what I was doing in there? Do you understand what I was doing? Okay, thank you. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to y'all. I just want to get a couple of reaction shots from people and I want to see if, if if so far the two people have come out have explained that they do understand exactly what I was doing so I just want to be clear that I was only exercising my first amendment right how you doing man and the people were upset that I was filming and that, that, that the DMV was going to shut down business and then she did pause business which gives me standing to sue her How you guys doing, Gloria, Butch, the original? How's everybody doing? Listen, you guys have to understand something. You have got to fight for your rights. You've got to fight for your rights. If you don't fight for your rights, you don't have any rights. If we don't collectively stand up together and fight for our rights, you don't have any rights. And let me just tell you something. We don't stop. I'll never stop. I will never, ever, ever stop. This is what I will do until the day that I'm dead. I will fight for our rights. I will stand with you and I will fight for our rights. So I've created a bunch of tools for you guys to be able to stand up for yourselves as well. I just can't stand this tyrannical government and what they have done. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. We will have freedom or we will not live on our knees. It's that simple. You stand on your feet. You stand on your feet. You do not back down. You follow the law exactly so they can't say that you were a thug. Remember, in Nivens versus Bartlett, 2019, when Nivens was arrested by Bartlett, this is the 2019 case of Nivens versus Bartlett. When Nivens resisted arrest and he had a physical altercation with the cops, the Supreme Court found in the favor of Bartlett because Nivens resisted arrest. That's how nitpicky those judges are at the top. That's what the Supreme Court said. How you doing, sir? How you doing? You understand what I was doing in there, sir? You understand? Do you understand what I was doing? Oh, why I was filming inside of the DMV? Do you understand what I was doing? What I was saying? Do you, do, you, do you understand what I was doing inside of the DMV when I was filming and they said they were gonna shut it down? What's that? Mm, I think. You need hands? Do you need hands? You got it. There's not a single person who's watching this right now that should not have my trifold in your car. You should have my trifold in your car. You should have my trifold in your pocket at all times. Get it on deletelaws.com. Do you understand what I was doing in there, sir? I'm just wondering if the people understand what I was doing. <laughs> you don't look too old. I just want to get a couple of reactions from people and see if they actually understand exactly. You don't have my authorization. Okay. Okay. So that guy just walked by me and said, you don't have my authorization. I don't know exactly what that means. I've actually filed. How you doing, sir? Good. Hey. Good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to tolerate it. We have to stand up and we have to fight. We've got to fight for our rights and we have to do it through peace, assembly, petition, and press. 
We do not break the law. Do not break the law. Do not go to violence. Remember, and you guys have got to look at the case, Nivens versus Bartlett, 2019. Nivens was 100% correct in everything he did. The problem was is that he resisted arrest. Ma'am, do you understand what I was doing in there? Do you understand? I just want to see if the people know. Thank you. So he, he threatened me with, with causing a disturbance. So that means that anybody that I talk to that comes out of the DMV, I have to be very respectful, ask them if they'd like to speak, and then I have to leave them alone. So I'm not gonna break the law. And I, I, I just read Nivens the other day, Nivens versus Bartlett, 2019. And I listened to the oral arguments of Nivens versus Bartlett and the Supreme Court justices, they were mad at Nivens for resisting an unlawful arrest. They found in the favor of Bartlett because he resisted an unlawful arrest. That's how much power the state wants. You're not even allowed to resist arrest. And to me, it's deplorable. It's absolutely deplorable what's happened here. And Miss Rosa from the DMV, you're getting sued, honey. I've already written the lawsuit. You're, you're, you're getting sued, lady. You're not allowed to do what you did to me just now. I mean, you understand, ma'am, we stood together shoulder to shoulder to, 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 to free blacks in this country. You understand that, right? You didn't get free on your own. It was people like me who fought with you. I fought with you for your rights. And, and black people did not get free on their own. It was white people and Mexican and people. white people put us in that situation. They sure did. It was horrible. Yeah, yeah. But Deplorable. We, but did you know that black people were... Turn your camera Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll put did it on me. Go ahead. you know that black people were enslaved by whites, blacks, Puerto Ricans? By the blacks. Yes. At, no, at, yes, at, at, by at, Puerto Rican. We were in, so we were the yeah. only race that was enslaved by every single race. Actually, it was Portugal. It was the Portuguese yeah, who enslaved you the most. What you want to no, I, I mean, I teach this stuff. Yeah, that's, that's I teach right. constitutional history. That is so, awesome. But you that know, you, I mean, you should have been standing with me, and no, you were I against should not me. Have, because there, you were against you have me. You an agenda. To you sue had them. your lawsuit. Yes. That has nothing to do with these people. You can say you're suing. <laughs> no, ma'am, look me up. I sue lots of people. I'm not. I'm not bluffing. You should be happy. You should help me. You should stand up with me. What's that? I shouldn't help you. You shouldn't no. help me? No. No. That's, 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 I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, a shame on me, right? No, I'm sorry you feel that way, ma'am. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel that way. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, do you understand what I was doing inside of the DMV just now? No, I don't. So the next big bastion of, of fight for freedom in our country is going to be our First Amendment right to film. And now that we all have cameras, the government is going to try to limit our right to film because you can't film in federal courts, you can't film in SCOTUS, and the reason is is because they they're hiding the tyranny. That's what they're doing. If, they, if, if it's not on camera, then it didn't happen. And that's what I'm doing here. I mean, I teach constitutional law. This Are is my, aware? no. I got no-knock rated 20 years ago and I started studying constitutional law to the point where I now teach it. I teach a, a big, long timeline series of constitutional law. Okay, well, I am a lawyer. Oh, so then you agree with me? I don't know if I agree with you or not because I don't believe really Okay, so inside of the DMV, they have an illegal sign. You're an attorney? Fantastic. Let me show you. So these are the, these are, these are the actual procedures that they have to use to put a sign up that says that the, I can't film in a public entity. That's the actual procedure right there. Sure, go ahead, go ahead. So right here, they have to follow Directive 210.1. Management Directive. And then when you look in the Management Directive 210, it's the Office of External Records, whatever. So now what they have to do is they have to contact the Directive Coordinator. The Directive Coordinator has to sign off that we're not allowed to film in a public space. Then the Governor, in a special session, has to sign. But this is not just a public space, it's a government space. No, no, it's our space. We, we, we are the government. We are the people. We are the sovereign. We are the power. If you stand with me, we're the power. If you it's oppose, not a matter of standing with you or not. I mean, there's special I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. This isn't a limited public forum. This, this is, we're not in a limit. This is a public forum. And here's the procedures they're supposed to follow. And they didn't. You're an attorney. You know this. The sign in there is well, I don't know because I don't know what that says. Okay. It says direct, it says directive man. Here, hold that one second. Wait, there you go. It says, I mean, I'd have to read this to know what it says. Sure. What it says. Yeah. Sure. So then you agree, though, I have a First Amendment right to film in a public space. I don't agree with you because I don't know what that says. It says Directive 210.1 that I have a that, that they have to follow a certain procedure to limit my filming inside of a public space. Maybe it does. I don't know what it says. I'd have to read that. Okay. I can't agree with you. Wait, I don't want to be filmed. Okay, I'll film myself. Okay. No problem. I don't want to um, disrespect you. I don't. I'd have to read that. 
where I can tell you whether it really says that. Will, will you take a copy of this and take a look at it? Sure. I, you can I got an extra copy. Right here, take, let me, here. I can just take a picture of it. Sure, sure. Thanks. I appreciate it. If you don't want to be on camera, I'll just keep it pointed at myself. Oh, is that your husband? No. I husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're single, lady, so am I. <laughs> No, I okay. So here, you take this one with you, and then here's the management directive. You can look this up as well. I got two copies of this, one for you as well. You can keep that, and then here's a copy of my lawsuit right here. I'm going to sue those troopers who made me leave and, and said they had probable cause to arrest me. I'm going to sue the supervisor of the DMV. And if anybody else was going to sign on to my lawsuit, why are you doing all of this? I mean, I'm a First Amendment advocate. I'm a First Amendment activist. Okay. I'm I'm against government stripping our rights, and that's what's happening all over the country. And the big fight right now for the next 20 years is going to be this camera. They can film us all they want, but we can't film them. And so then you get you don't get a two way street. If I go to file a report at Internal Affairs, they'll say they're going to film the interview, but I can't. Well, why is that? Without transparency, we don't have justice. So since 68, we had 300,000 people in prison. Now we have 2.5 million. And why is that? Because you can't film in the courtroom. And so we're not seeing the tyranny. Well, sometimes you can film in the courtroom. It depends. If the judge is going to allow you, yeah. which is how do my rights end at the courtroom? You know what I mean? How, do they, how does it end at the courtroom? I don't understand that. I mean, I actually literally created a pamphlet for people right here. This is the trifold. And this has all of the Supreme Court cases and the district cases that where you can use your rights, your right to film police. Uh, if, if, the driver, if the cop orders you out of the car, if the cop's gonna extend the stop, if the cop asks for your ID. He just asked me for my ID and told me he had probable cause to arrest me, so at that point I have to give him my ID. If he says he has probable cause and he will arrest me, then I had to give him my ID. Right. But that, it wasn't true though, he didn't have probable cause. He was just saying he was gonna arrest me. And it's, it's but if I don't give ID, then he, put, then he puts me in the torture cuffs. Yeah, no, you're right. And I don't wanna be put in torture cuffs. I've been in torture cuffs 20 times before this camera phone was invented. They no-knock raided me 20 years ago. I was sitting on my, in my bed and they no-knock raided me based on a confidential informant saying I was a drug dealer. It wasn't true at all. They kicked my door down, charged me with five felonies. It was insane. And I went through it. I lived through it. It's I almost, terrifying. When you hear SWAT running down your hallway and you hear police, 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 and you're naked in bed, I put my hands up above my head and just prayed to God they weren't going to shoot me in the face. Then they kicked my door in and I had 10 lasers in my eyes, red lasers in my eyes. What was the basis of the arrest? I know who, I know who the confidential informant was. A confidential informant told him I was a drug dealer and that I was dealing drugs to kids, which was completely fabricated. I was dating his ex-wife. He made it up. And just on the basis of that? J yeah. And so that's going to be Adams versus Williams, I believe, 1972. And then that's going to extend into um, into uh, Illinois versus Gates, 1983, that says that they can take a confidential informant's information and just arrest me. But that 1972 case of Adams is is huge because that's where they, a confidential informant said that Adams had a, a gun on him and he just went and reached in his car and, and skiffed him down, found a gun and arrested him. So that means that Terry from 68 was extended to where they can just walk up and grab you. Yeah. And I've explained this to my audience, that the cops can just walk up and grab you if someone says you're bad. Do you have a podcast or Oh, yeah, there's, 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 there's 450 people watching now. <laughs> yeah, I'm known across the country. I, I travel so the whole... What's your name? My name's Chili. My legal name is Jose. Jose... Jose Maria. Jose... O Jose de Castro. Yeah. You can look me up. I, I mean, I, I don't hide my identification from anybody. I don't like to give ID to the cops because it's their, it's their whole cookie. They're trying to just get my ID. So what is the name of your podcast? Delete Laws. Delete? Delete, Delete Laws. -E L-A-T-E. L-A-W-Z. Delete Laws. And you can watch it. You'll, you'll actually, there'll be a couple clips of you on there. Okay. I didn't, I, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> didn't mean to make, yeah. <laughs> didn't mean to make you well, famous. I kind of like to not. Well, if you're an attorney, I would love for you to look I'm into not, this. I'm not, I don't practice any. I mean, I am, but I don't practice. You don't practice law? Yeah. What was your practice of law? Divorce. Oh, you were, oh God. <laughs> Messy, dirty. Yeah, fun. No. <laughs> but I couldn't believe the people didn't back me up. There was only one or I two people. I don't think people knew what the heck you were doing. Right. I didn't know what you were doing. I had no idea what you were I'm doing. I'm standing for our rights. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm, there's a woman being tried right now for trust. She's got charged with like eight different charges. They're all M3s that they carry six months in jail. So they're trying to say that the discovery is limited because it only carries six months in jail. Spend one day in the dungeon. You spend one single solitary day in the dungeon. It is absolute hell. I'm sure. I mean, I've been arrested 20 or 30 times because I told cops stop beating on him. You guys are going too far here. Why are you violating my rights? Before the camera phone. 
So the big bastion of fight right now, the, the last bastion of freedom is this cell phone. And they want to limit it. They want to take away our cell phones. That's what they want to do. And I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm going to go all around the country and sue these jackboot thug pigs. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to check out your... I'm gonna let, me, let me keep this. I only have one. You no, know, I want you to keep that paperwork so you can look it up. Okay. That way you know where to look. Delete, Delete loss. loss. My pleasure. It was nice to talk to you. I'm going to definitely look it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. It. Good luck to you. Appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time to understand. She, she, she took the time to listen and understand what we were doing here. So this camera's been rolling the whole time. You guys will get to see the action from inside of that place where I had a few people of the crowd, but people started to turn because they didn't want their DMV appointment to be missed. And they started to get mad that their DMV appointment could be missed. I have every right to be here. I have every right to stand here. I have every right to do this, and I'm gonna to continue to do it. Listen, go, you should have my trifold in your car. Do not wait, get my trifold, put it in your car, use it always, never be without this. I carry it in my pocket, you see that? It's in my pocket. I have the Fifth Amendment cop card coming out, so you don't have to carry paper in your pocket. It's an actual credit card, it comes out next week. It, a lot of people have pre-ordered, so the pre-orders will start to ship next week. I'm, I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm going to stand up for our rights no matter what. I just, I want to talk to some people. I mean, that, that, see, that the, the lawyer came out and talked to me because she was interested in what I was doing. Which is all we need is we need an interested party. So remember, it was only 3% of people who started the Revolutionary War against England. 3% of people. And you had the majority of people, and you can look this up in the 1776 pamphlet called Common Sense, written by Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine wrote the pamphlet that convinced the majority of people who did not want to break away from England that we needed to break away from England. <laughs> Sir, do you understand what I was doing? I just, I'm trying to get some reaction from people and see if they, they know what I was doing. Sir? Mm. I don't want to disturb. I don't want to disturb. The, the, the cop said I can't disturb the peace. So he gave me a warning for disturbing, so I'm not going to disturb the peace. Do you understand what I was doing, sir? I just want to know if people understand exactly what I was doing. I mean, I was busy with my things. I hear you, but right, right now I'm busy with that. You're busy with your DMV stuff. Got it, got it. Do you understand what I was doing in there, sir? Were you in there and that just happened? That's what I said. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Sir, do you understand what I was doing? Sir, do you understand what I was doing in there? Do you understand what I was doing? I'm sorry, man. Oh, okay. I understand. No problem. Thanks. Have a nice day. Sir, do you understand what I was doing inside of there? Sir, do you, I just want to know if you understood. That's all. What's that? You don't give a shit? I do. I care. Sir, do you understand what I was doing inside the DMV just now? I just want to know if people know what I was doing, that's all. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. So the police just came and told me to leave the DMV. Were you there and that just happened? Nah, I probably, oh, okay. I, I have no clue. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. You understand what I was doing? Yeah. Yeah. I did. This gentleman actually stood up for me and told the crowd that I, I had a right to be there. Yep. It was unbelievable, wasn't it? That you see the crowd turn against me? Yeah, my daughter didn't explain it, and I told her, I said, look, next month maybe the lady shuts everything down because somebody's wearing a Michigan State jersey. Right. Over I the... hate Michigan State, but they have a right to wear it. <laughs> you have a right to wear that. And you have a right to record That's right. in a public place. That's right. That's I get right. it. And they arrested an auditor out of here. They threatened another auditor with arrest, and he had to flee. The crowd actually shouted him out, and he had to run off. Which is wrong. You shouldn't threaten people with violence so because I'm using. So did you get the supervisor's information? I got the supervisor's information. Okay, just now. because he should have the same conversation with the supervisor because she created a disturbance. That's right. That's right. I'm actually suing her. Her name's Miss Rosa. She's listed in the lawsuit. It's you, young people, that have to jump on. She's not wearing makeup. Don't put her on. <laughs> She'll get pissed. I'm not. I, I don't. I only. I, I try not to put people on camera. I, I don't. I don't play that Especially game. Especially if they're not in makeup. <laughs> it's you, young people, though, who are Gen Z. And, and Xenials, you guys have to fight for our rights. I'm 24. You're a young... You're, you're, <laughs> it doesn't mean you can uh, sign off from adulthood. 
You're, you, but you are now an adult. You're a legal adult. As a matter of fact, just so you know, the average age of the 1960s civil rights movement was 17 years old. So you're, you're right in the right age right now at 24 to fight for our rights and fight for our liberty. And I didn't do anything wrong. I was just filming. So you did. I'm just hungry. You're just hungry? <laughs> Why are you a patriot? Why do you believe in this? Uh, because I understand our rights and I understand people like walking on them if they're not defended. That's right. If you don't exercise your rights, you don't have any. I get it. It was a little bit inconvenient. I might have missed out on some Chinese food, but it's kosher. <laughs> okay, then let's go. It's okay. good. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate you standing up for me. I appreciate that. S sir, do you understand what I was doing? I just, I'm just curious to see if the people know. That's all. No, nah, what, what are you doing? When I was in there just now and the cops came? Did you? Yeah, I saw something like briefly, but barely. So I, I was filming inside of the DMV because we have a First Amendment right to film inside of yeah, any yeah, public Yeah, yeah, any building. public location. That's, That's right. Fine. I know and, that. And so the people started to shout me down, and I started yeah. to explain that I'm here for your rights. And yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to know if you knew why I was there. No, no, I wasn't there at the time, but I do understand that, you know, this is like something that you are allowed to do. And any, you can go to police station, you can go to the, you know, any public place you are allowed to. Now, it's a whole different thing if people do not like it. Just because somebody doesn't like something doesn't mean that you are you are not allowed to do it. Right. Well, right? the cops so, didn't I mean, stand up for me, though. They came here and threatened yeah, to arrest every, me. No, no, you, this is why. Because they don't, you know, if there's one thing like that, you, you which you're allowed to do, but then there's another thing causing a disturbance and a nuisance. So right. And they're going to try to trigger it and make you become a disturbance. So right. then now they have probable cause to arrest you. Right. That's right. You know? So, like, that you know... This wow. is how it is. This God is bless you, brother. Is. God yeah, bless you. Know, you you, you do, actually right? understand. I do understand. I wow. try to do as much research as I can. Now, me personally, I know I have this right, but I don't like to carry myself in that way. It's not your role. Provoke, it's not your role. Yeah, to try you to provoke a, people, right? You I have a different to, role. Yes, I do. Everybody is here for a purpose. Right, and this is my purpose. What is this? You on TikTok? This is YouTube called Delete oh, Laws. YouTube? You can look it up. You're beyond YouTube. Delete Laws. There's 450 people watching you right now. 450? Yeah. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Well, you know, keep doing what you're doing, right? Like you said, everybody got a role to play. Delete laws. Look it up, all right? Delete laws, yep. I'll Delete laws. There it is. I mean, did you hear him? He knew inside and out. He knew inside and out that they created probable cause to arrest me. He, they created, he knew inside and out that the, that the DMV manager created the disturbance by saying that I was trespassing. And then the cops came here and, and they piggybacked on top of the... Ma'am, do you know what I was doing in there? I'm just curious to see if you know what I was doing. Huh? Do you know what I was doing in there? I, just... I have no idea. Okay, I was just standing up for our First Amendment right to be able to film in a public space. I got it. So I didn't know if you were part of the crowd that was... I wasn't, no. I had stepped out. I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, yeah. I was just... I was flexing our First Amendment rights. Okay. Okay, thank you. I just want to get a couple more reactions and then I'll get out of here because I want to find out exactly if people understand what I was doing. You know, it's so crazy. I showed the cop the trifold. I showed him. Do you guys know what I was doing in there? I'm just curious to see if you guys understand what I was doing. A lawsuit right. filed, correct? Right. Right. I haven't filed the lawsuit yet. What I was doing is I was flexing our First Amendment right to be able to film in a public space. And then you're saying, that the, well, yeah, technically the DMV is a public space. It's a public space, right? Yeah. What do you think, though? I don't think it was justified 100% to run in there and make a big hubbubaloo because you had a... But I didn't. She did. Yeah. She, she started that. It's on camera. I didn't... I, I'm neutral. Oh, but you're not. You're on my side. I have, it's, it's for our rights. I don't have much against you. and I don't, I don't have nothing against you either, man. God bless I don't, you. I don't God have bless much you. against the people that were working in there either. But you should. That, that she, she's working against your right to film. The next big fight for freedom is this camera. They can film us all they want, but we can't film them. Why is that? Why they're is that? filming us by taking a picture for No, there's us. cameras all over the roof of that DMV. There's cameras right here when you walk in. There's cameras everywhere. They're filming so us constantly. kind of dumb, though. That's, How come we can't film them? Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Right. That's the whole point of us not being able to film in there. That's the whole point. Of personal information. But if I was going to steal your personal information, I'd be hiding and I'd be zooming in. I'd be... Yeah, there's a lot of people watching. There's, Jesus. Yeah, there's a lot of people watching. This is what I do all over the country. I go to places where they strip us of our rights and I sue them. I came here from California. That's crazy. Yeah. Listen, you got to watch the channel, delete laws. You got to learn. You got to get this trifold right here. It's, it's called learn the law and get this in your car and always use it when you interact with cops.
It's not that you don't respect law. It's not that you don't respect the rule of law. It's that you have to invoke your rights. You, you see the difference? Yeah. If we don't flex our rights, we don't have any rights. If we can't film in here tomorrow, you can't film here. Tomorrow you can't have a dash cam because you're, ca you're catching public information as you drive down the road. I mean, it's, you're a young guy. You, you are the next line of defense. I'm Gen X. You're, you're Gen Z. 17. Gen Z. 17. Right. God bless you, brother. God bless you. you. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for taking the time to sit here and talk to me. I appreciate it. I meant no disrespect towards you or anybody else. No, in that. I understand that. Okay. And I felt it kind of crappy, too, because they were purposefully drawing attention to what you were doing to get everyone mad at you. Yes. And I thought, well, maybe if it's something valuable, maybe you do have to go that far sometimes. Yeah. I wasn't going to back down. You heard me. I'm not backing down. Yeah, exactly. They purposely drawed attention to me and threatened to close the DMV so that they could cause a scene. Yeah. She actually caused the scene. What she doesn't know is I'm going to sue her. I've already written the lawsuit. Well, that's your right to do so. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's up to you, though, from now on. Next time you pull your camera out and you're filming and they say you can't film, you tell them you have a First Amendment right to film. What do you guys think? This, this guy's a badass, right? This guy's a badass. Put a one in the chat. This guy's a badass. That's right, man. We got to fight for our rights. I'm telling you. That's all I was doing. I, at least you knew. You knew what I was doing. And you said it was unfair what she did. Yeah. It was totally unfair. She, she incited the crowd against me. She incited the, the disturbance. Well, that's what they do. Well, yeah, they do just a process for a lot of this crap. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. You're all right. You're all right. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Ma'am, do you understand what I was doing? I'm just curious to see if you, you guys understood what I was doing. Let me check the time real quick here, just real fast. How you doing, boss? Good, how are you, sir? I, I noticed you on the YouTube, is there? I am. I think I, I think I follow you. Delete laws? Yeah. Yeah, what's your the, name? The Orlando. Orlando, how yeah. you doing, Orlando? I, Thanks for coming. I, I think you, you know, you want to put the cops on in, the, in his pot. Yeah, know? yeah, uh, I just I like came that. here, they just kicked me out of here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was flexing my First Amendment right to film inside of a public space, and uh, half the crowd turned against me. I had some people on my side, but it, it was it was pretty rough. Wow. I mean, I'm fighting for our rights. Yeah. I'm fighting for our rights. Oh, I agree with you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. God bless you. Likewise. Thank you, Orlando. You know, um, just so you guys know, no matter where I go, anywhere in the country, grocery stores, DMVs, you name it. If I go to a wrestling tournament, if I go to a jujitsu tournament, people walk up to me and say, you're the guy from YouTube, which is really a strange thing to happen. It's really weird. I mean, it, you got to get used to it, but it's, it's definitely different. And I've still got this phone running the whole time. I'm with you there, red light. I'm with you there all the way, brother. Cope doggy dog. What's going on? Malone. How are you, Rhonda? Roll call real quick. Put a, put a comment so I can call your name out. Shock Professor, what's going on? Wanda Meese, good to see you, Miss Meese. KT, Tenacious. What is Alan Hubs? What's going on? Mikey, Tommy, how are you? Delete Laws Clips. Everybody subscribe to Delete Laws Clips. P Rex, Michael Dolan. Nike, what is going on? Rachel, how are you? Jeff, good to see you. Good. To, the tribe is in the room. Les Paul, thanks. How you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks to April. Thank you, Joey, Victor, Malone, Todd. How are you guys doing? King Charles is here. Numsky, what's going on? How are you? Check Engine is here. What's going on? Charles is here. Excuse me, sir. I was just wondering if you knew what I was doing in there. I just want to ask you if you knew what I was doing. Okay. Remember, the police warned me for disturbing. James, what is going on? How are you? Gloria, good to see you. Red Light, Jeff, how are you, man? Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jen, how are you? Shakur Capital, what's going on, brother? Eric, how are you? Joey, what's going on? Chuck, what's going on? Every single person here should have my trifold. It's $9 for the one you print at home. It's $30 for the indestructible one. If you don't have the $9, I'll give it to you for free. I'll give it to you for free. I want you to have the trifold in your car or in your pocket. I'll give it to you for free if you don't have the nine bucks to print it at home. Do you understand that? <laughs> That's how absolutely, oh, what's going on? What's going on, big dog? What's going on? The, the, the coppers almost arrested me, but I was, uh, I was super respectful. You know, it's outside of my vein, but uh, I tried to keep it respectful. 
Scope Doggy, Wanda, what is going on? John Jones, how are you? Nice to see you. What is going on? OTVO, put in the chat. OTVO. Steve-O, what's going on? Jack Boot Thug Pig says Joel. JBTP, what's going on? Cheeseburger, what's going on? I love Yahweh. How you doing? Hi, I'm good day. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, do you know what I was doing in there? Ma'am? I don't want to disturb the peace here. So I'm just going to keep it nice. Because you know the cops are watching this right now in case I do something that they have warned me I'm not allowed to do. It's, it's, so it, it's weird because they warned me for disturbing the peace or causing a disturbance. And they warned me and said that if I go back in and cause a disturbance, they'll arrest me for disturbing the peace or causing a disturbance. And so, so you have to take a look at that. And remember, you don't want to go to jail. You, you, you don't want to go to jail. Um, I have t tonight, just so you guys know, I have a big interview with the, the parents of a slain young man who was killed by the police uh, here in Pennsylvania. So, so. Ma'am, do you know what I was doing? I'm just curious to see if the people know. No, I don't. Do you want to understand it? or you, Do you guys know what I was doing in there? I'm just curious to see if you guys understand what I was doing. Do you understand what I was doing, sir? Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. Got you. No problem. Austin, what's going on? Sacramento, how are you? Good to see everybody. Nice to see everybody. You got to fight for your rights, people. You have to fight for your rights. And, you know, the, the now that the police are definitely watching my stream, I have to make sure. Do you guys know what I was doing in there? I'm just curious to see if you guys understand what I was doing. Do you know what I was, why I was there? Do you know what I was doing? So the next big fight for freedom is this camera right here. See that right there? That right there is the fight for freedom. Because the, the, with the social media today and technology, the government wants to be able to film you. There's dozens of cameras in here, but you can't film them. Okay. So since 1968, there was about 350,000 people in prison. Today, there's two and a half million. And why is that? You can't bring the camera in the courtroom. And so the judges are tyrannical all across the country, from, from the Supreme Court all the way down to your local magistrate. They're all corrupt. And the reason they're corrupt is because they're not caught on camera. Now this DMV, they arrested an auditor out of here, they threatened another auditor out of here, and I saw it on camera and I live in California. So I took mm. a plane ride over here so I could get the supervisor's name so I can sue her. Her name is Miss Rosa and I'm suing her. I've already written the lawsuit, I, sh I showed it. So, I mean, do you understand? So you want us to be able to use our camera? camera right, if I was trying to steal your information, I would have hidden the back with some spy glasses and zoom. You literally, there's cameras, you can take your thumb and zoom in and zoom out and they can be on your glasses. If I was trying to steal your social security number, that's what I would do. I wouldn't stand in front of the room and be like, hey everybody, I'm here to film. I wouldn't do it that way. You know, but I need people like yourself to stand up for activists. When you see us doing what we do, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Got in, in the car without uh, me opening it. <laughs> well, I just I just want you to know what I was doing. I wasn't trying to disrespect yeah, you yeah. or anybody. My channel is called Delete Laws. Lots of people watch my channel. I was no way, shape, or form trying to be rude to the people. I couldn't believe that more people weren't on my side. I was really shocked. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks. God bless you. Are we out of here? Is it time to go? I had, uh, I, had, I had some backup here in case they arrested me. I had somebody here so in case I was going to go to jail because once the cop told me he had probable cause, I then gave him my identification because without probable with probable cause, he can arrest me. And I don't want to be arrested. I have an interview to do tonight. And um, the very last door that way. The camera's facing me, you're good. How much time do we have? They continue. You're kidding me. The last no way. Sir, do you understand what I was doing inside of there? I'm just curious to see if the people know what I was doing. You know what I was doing? Yeah, stand with me, you know, stand with me, stand for our rights. Don't let them, don't let them kick us out. Enterprise, what's going on? New Edge, how are you? I saw a turtle boy got arrested. 
Turtle Boy, welcome to the right side of history, Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy now calls the cops pigs. What happened, Turtle Boy? Oh, Turtle Boy used to back the blue until it happened to you. That's what happened. Remember, Turtle Boy, Turtle Boy was a cop sucker for years. Do you guys know what I was doing in there? Do you guys understand what I was doing? Ma'am, do you understand what I was doing in there? Okay. I, I, I can't even really do my journalistic endeavors because I've been threatened with arrest, and so I, I don't want to get arrested. If, if the, the cop warned me for disturbing the peace, is what he warned me for. He made me give him ID and said he had probable cause to arrest me. So if he has probable cause to arrest me, then you have to give your identification or you go to jail. So with probable cause, you don't want to get arrested. You, you want to make sure you don't get arrested. At the same time, sometimes being arrested is necessary. They gave me the standing that I need by threatening to arrest me for causing a disturbance. But really, you, as you heard from two different people, the woman who's the manager of the DMV, Miss Rosa, she's the one who caused the disturbance. Miss Rosa, you're getting sued by me. I'm suing you. Do you guys know what I was doing in there? I just want to know if the people know. Do you guys understand what I was doing? You're not on camera, ma'am. I just wanted to know if you understood. You understand? Do you guys know what I was doing in there? Do you understand what I was doing? Yeah. I was standing up for our rights. I just. You agree? Or you don't agree? So John, the probable cause that they said the, the the so when the cop got here, the DMV manager had came out and made an announcement that she was going to close. I couldn't get my my camera to go live. She 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 was saying that she was going to close the DMV because I was there filming, and so then that incited the people to start to scream and yell and become uh, a, abrasive and hostile towards me, and so. At that point, I made the announcement to them that I would not be backing down and I would not be leaving until the police came there and told me that they would arrest me if I didn't leave. That's exactly what the cop did. Unfortunately, Mr. I can't say his name. It's an Italian name. But unfortunately, sir, you're going to be listed in a federal civil rights lawsuit for what you did today. And I'm sorry to hear that. And, and it, but I can't wait to list the guy who kept I'm a corporal. I'm a corporal. And I told him, you're not a corporal. You're Mr. Irvin. You're not a corporal. The, the, the military... Uh, the military headings are for people who serve in the military. You're a domestic police officer. You are Yo. not. Hey, how you doing? What's up? You know what I was doing? Nah, I don't know. Oh, were you were you in the DMV just now in the yeah, cops? Yeah, I was in there. So I'm exercising my First Amendment right to be able to film. And the next big fight for freedom is this camera right here. Because what they're going to do is they're going to try to limit our camera. They're filming you. How come you can't film them? So what you what you doing this whole thing for? Because I'm an activist, I stand up for our rights. And what is it that you're standing up for? For your constitutional rights and my constitutional rights. rights. Your First Amendment right to be able to be press. Mm -hmm. You have a right to be press. And it, you can pull your camera out right now and film me. You can put the camera right in my face just like that. And I can't do anything about it. You have a right to do it. I don't have any right to tell you that you can't film. Mm -hmm. And so when she, took, when she incited a riot just now, she broke the law and I'm gonna sue her. I've, I've already written the lawsuit. Do you understand what I was doing, sir? Uh, so, so that, that, that's what I was doing, is I was flexing our First Amendment right to be press. Sir, do you understand what I was doing inside the DMV? So, go ahead. Do you understand what I was doing? I vaguely understood it, but I also know that was a wrong forum for it to... Really? Know, they, they, well, to, to, to get any kind of understanding and discussion with you. Right, for you, and I, for, you, for you and I to have a fair talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so what they're doing right now across... Okay, the, first of all... Uh, I don't want to be. Video. Okay, I'll film myself. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disrespectful to people, individual no, I, people. I, I, res that. I respect what you want, sir. But what I'm saying is, is when I go into a public space and I'm filming, and they try to shout me down, we need patriots to stand up and say he has a right to be pressed in a public building. And that's what I was doing. I was. I was seeing if the people would come on my side, and I was getting standing to sue the supervisor of the DMV because uh -huh. she's done that to two different people. One, she arrested right here on the sidewalk. They arrested so what, 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 what are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to make it so that they have to take down that illegal sign that says you can't film in a public space. I can film in any public space where my eyes can see. So they're trying to say that it's a limited public forum because it's the DMV, but that's not true. They have to go through a legislative process called two, 
201.1 that says they have to get first permission from the directive administrator and then they have to have a special session with the with the governor who has to sign off that this becomes a limited public forum. Okay, so what so you're, you're, what you're trying to do is get that sign removed. That you yes. Cannot, okay. I don't want to so be able to film in there. why do you want to have that removed? Because it's our right to film in a public space. And I, I got to stand on our rights. I'm fighting for our right, every single bit of our rights. I'm not allowing portions of my rights to be segregated and you can't have these rights in this space, but you can have these rights here. Take a look at the courthouses right now. 350,000 people in prison in 1968, now 2.5 million. How come? They banned the camera from the courtroom. And now... Uh, well, that, that, that may have been a factor, but that definitely is not the primary factor. No, the primary factor was arresting blacks after the civil rights movement. Right. That was the main factor. Yeah, see, they that, wanted to be able to arrest black yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was a middle school teacher. Oh, uh, yeah? Eighth grade in um, inner city Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Okay, so I know, yeah. you know, the, the school to prison pipeline. School to prison pipeline. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So I, I get that. And, you know, I, I respect what you're trying to do. Um, I'm not sure the way you are doing it is is the best way to get it. Accomplished. Isn't that always the saying though? I respect what you want, but I don't respect how you're doing no. it. Isn't that the con for, for millennial for decades and decades but, but and I, decades? But I, but I think I think doing it in the wrong way. This is the right way. Hear me out. Go ahead. I'll okay. listen. Sorry. Doing it in the wrong way, not based on your perception of reality, but based on the perception of reality of everybody else that was in there was ticked off at you because you possibly caused them to waste a day off that they took to come here. Who does caused not, that? Does not open their minds to hearing what you have well, to I, say. That's why I'm standing here talking to people and trying to explain right. to them so that they understand so they don't think I was just being some a-hole. Right. But, you know? but, 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 like, perception is reality. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and, and their perception of you, I think, hindered your ability and who caused that? A, who caused that? Forum. Who caused that though? Did I cause that or did she cause it by saying I'm going to close the DMV? Both of you caused it. But she said she's going to close the Both DMV. Both of you caused it. Okay. Okay. You, you, you're, I, I can't tell you okay. what your I can't tell you no, what your perspective is. I don't no. agree with you. I think she caused that's, that's it by fine. coming out and saying I'm going to close the DMV if you continue to film. And then she called the police on me. That's yeah. not right. No, but but it it it, it, it took two of you to have that conflict. Right, but I explained okay. to her before and I started just, filming. But that's just why I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether the method that you have chosen uh, to accomplish your goal is hindering rather than helping you. Well, just so you know, we've heard that same exact line since yeah. the 60s. I agree with what you want, but I don't agree with your methods. Okay, well, first of all, I was you, there in the 60s. You weren't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Were you on the picket lines? Were you fighting uh, I for freedom? Was, I, I was just a little bit too young. Okay. Uh, to be 14, 13, 12. Yeah, exactly. So you remember it, but okay. you couldn't participate. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I think the average so age very, was 17, but, 17 to but 20. But since then, um, you know, in different ways, you know, I've been, been looking for opportunities to fight. Great. You know, some of these Great. discriminations. Yeah. And Join me. My channel is called Delete Laws. Like, this is all I do. Oh, this is my trifold. Writing? Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> take a picture. You got, you got a phone? Take, take a picture yeah. of that real quick. Take a picture of the delete laws right there. I mean, I literally create products for people so that they can fight back against the police state. You know, when they're when they're calling the cops on me for simply running my camera in a public space, that's gone too far as far as I'm concerned. And you know, no matter what people do, there's always gonna be people who disagree with your methods. Oh yeah. No matter what, they're gonna disagree with your methods. And just so you know, there's people in my community who disagree with my methods. Oh, and there's, yeah. there's people who dis there's people who support me that say yeah. they don't support everything I do, but they support yeah. my fight for freedom. Yeah. And that's all I'm doing, you know. All right. I mean, I'm st I'm still standing here talking to people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so no, I, it I, wasn't I, like I was I, just trying to be a I, jerk. <laughs> I know, but but like I said, you know, I, I I think there are people in there based on how you approach this that will not give you an opportunity to share. But they're ignorant. Probably. Those people are ignorant. Yeah. People are ignorant. All right. Nice meeting you. God bless you, sir. Thanks. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You guys know what I was doing in there? I just, I'm just curious to see if everybody knows what I was doing. Do you know what I was doing inside of there? When the cops came exercising and your right, right? exercising my rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was folks like me that helped free black people. We fought for your rights. My, my family fought for black rights. We died in wars to, so people would have their rights. My family served in every single war since the beginning of the Revolutionary War from England. So like my Where job, 
I'm from California. Oh, I, 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 was, I lived out there for five years. Oh, you lived in five, yeah. five years? Yeah. Like, if, if, when you guys see someone, this, this right here, this camera right here, this is the next fight for freedom. This, this right here. Because what they're doing is they're filming us, but they're saying we can't film them. Right, and right. we know without transparency, right, there's right. no justice. But I understand what you said, but what they, what, what they were trying to say is there's another way because you were, people have got things to do. Right. People, because if this would have been uh, an issue where I couldn't get, my license expired today. Right. So I'd have been pissed off. You'd have been mad. Yes, I would. Right. Because I can't, I can't travel now. Right. And who made it, you mad, though? It was the lady who said she's going to close the DMV. It wasn't me. Right. But right. You was, saw that, though. And she, the reason why she was closing it, because... I'm filming, which is my right to film. You're right. So she's closing down our rights collectively, right, and then right. she's inciting you to get mad at me because you can't get your business done when right, she has right, no right to right, close right. this DMV. So if you're able to do what you need to do, why are you not in there doing it? Oh, no. The police threatened to arrest me. And I'm going to follow the law. But you, but you I'm say, not going to break the law. You, but it's your, it's your right. right? It, is, it is my right. So, who cares? So okay, you, so now I have standing to sue. No, no. I have my standing now. Right, right. I have already written the lawsuit. Right. So now so, I'm going to sue so, them. So you did your job. I did my job. Thank you. You got your purpose? Yes, that was my purpose. So, uh, that was my purpose. That was your purpose to sue. So. That was my purpose. Gotcha. Nice. And, and, and listen, it's been since the beginning of time. The government wants to strip us of our rights. Right, right, and they right. want to incite others against us. That's what they do. They try to turn your own people against you. Right, right. I have... I have thousands of government operatives who try to turn my people against me, try to attack my family, attack my friends. If I had a wife and children, they would snatch my children away. They would attack my wife. Right. The, only, the only person who can do what I do and do it efficiently is a single person. So that they don't have any other attachments that they can attack their friends and attack their family. And I have been attacked for two years. They've called, they called my mother, my sister, my brother, my cousin, my ex-lovers, my employers, my investors, and those most of your government operatives. But they didn't rush you. What's that? They didn't arrest you because you were... Well, I followed the law. He followed. threatened to arrest me. He said he had probable cause. At that point, I'm going to follow the law. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Right. I believe in law and order. Right. Some people believe in a volunteer system or an anarchist system. I believe that, that the, the order that John Locke wrote, the rule of law, to me, is foundational. I believe that. Other people believe different things, but I think law and order. But this isn't a law and order system. This is a tyrannical jackboot thug pig system. And they target y'all the most, which right. is the worst part. You... If you and I get in a car together, do you know what I'll say? Let me drive. How come? Um, because. Because you're black. Specifically because you're black. When I ride with my black friends in a car, I say, let me drive. you in the passenger seat. Because they'll pull you over. Oh, yeah. They target you. They, not just you, though. They target poor white people. They target Latinos. They target Asians. Anybody who looks like they don't have a BMW or an expensive car to fight back, if it looks like a beater car, they'll target you. Now, black skin, ooh, man. Doot, doot, doot. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a bell ringer right there for them. Thank you. God bless you, man. You should likewise, man. Appreciate second, you. Right? Thanks. Right. Delete Laws is the channel. You'll, you'll be on it very little because I didn't film you. Delete Laws is the channel. Delete, delete laws. You can take a picture of this if you want. This is my trifold that I, I, I suggest everybody has in their car. I sell this for nine bucks, but if you don't have the money, you just email me and I send it to you for free. Gotcha. I mean, that's how passionate I am about what I'm doing. I can't take a picture of it. Yeah, look this up, okay? Okay, it's the trifold on deletelaws.com. Okay. Thank you, Ian, I appreciate it, man. I'm here fighting for our rights and I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna surrender, I'm not gonna give up. And if it takes litigation after litigation after litigation, that's what it will take. That's what it will take. And big shout out to my team. Thank you, team members. I appreciate you, thank you. There's, I have a big team of people who help me and I, I'm so grateful to my team members. It's, 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 I couldn't do what I do without people helping me. If you wanna help me, you contact me through Delete Laws. Go to the inquiry form and fill it out. Let me know if you're a paralegal or a lawyer, where, what state you have a bar card in. Currently, I'm looking for an Oklahoma bar card member for a kid who was had his jaw broken inside of the jail. I have the video of him having his jaw broken inside of the jail. They held him down and pressure broke his jaw. They held him on the ground in a chair. They put him in a restraint chair. Then they took both hands This is the main lady who worked against me the entire time. She started the revolt against me. She started screaming and yelling and acting crazy towards me. 
because she only cares about herself. That's the only person she cares about. I mean, you are who you are. You only care about yourselves. I don't have to care. You only care about yourself. You only, you only care about yourself. You're selfish. You're selfish. You're a selfish lady. You're selfish. Oh, I will. Okay, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? You're a selfish lady. That's all there is to it. You're very selfish. So let me tell you, I'm looking for a bar card member in Oklahoma. Let me tell you what they did to this guy. They put him in a chair. They put him in a torture chair. And then they took their hands and they broke his jaw. They broke his jaw. So I'm looking for a bar card member in Oklahoma right now that can help this guy. He has so many documents that you could just end all the charges against him. I need a bar card member in Oklahoma. Let me show you exactly what they did to this kid in Oklahoma. They, they put him in one of those torture chairs and then they took their hands and they put it on both sides of his jaw and they broke his jaw by pressing his, his jaw closed. They broke his jaw. So I need a bar card member in Oklahoma. I need a, I need a, I need a lawyer. You guys know what I was doing? Do you guys have any idea what I was, do you know what I was doing in there? Do you know what I was doing? So, okay, God bless you. I mean, you know for a fact the, that the Pennsylvania State Police are watching this right now. And so, Michael Dolan, what's going on, buddy? So, because they are definitely monitoring my stream now, I, I, they, they've warned me for just, do you guys know what I was doing? You guys know what I was doing? Do you understand I was fighting for our yeah, rights? Yes. Thank you. You guys know what I was doing in there? Just curious to see if you know. No, we just walked up. Oh, okay. Big Mike audits. What's going on, man? Big fan. Big fan. Man, you should hear Big Mike call the, uh, the different government entities. You should hear him call the jails. Big Mike audits. Big shout out to you. I got such a joy out of watching you do your work the other day. I was so impressed the way he just, he dominated them on the phone. It was, and the, and the government entities, they're, they're constantly trying to dominate. Um, they're, con they're, they're constantly trying to, to dominate us. And so, you know, uh, what Big Mike Audit did the other day. And by the way, Big Mike, did, did we ever get him out of jail? Because uh, I'll do a fundraiser if we have to do a fundraiser to get him out of jail. I was actually gonna help the angry vet on a different thing and he, uh, he ended up getting some help, you know, because, you know, we have to have a bar card member. I need a bar card member in Oklahoma right now. I'm looking for a bar card member in Oklahoma or even a paralegal in Oklahoma right now who can help a kid who has been absolutely railroaded. I mean, he's not even a kid. I think he's in his deep thirties or, or, or so. And he's been so railroaded by the system there. And it's in the same place that Jason Dollarhide is. It's in the same little Norman, Oklahoma area. I mean, they busted his jaw in a torture chair. It's absolutely horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Mingo, I, 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 I'm limited in what I can do. If you have a video, I can expose it and I can connect you with other people, but I, I'm very limited in what I can do. I'm only a member of the press. I don't have a bar card. So I have to be very careful what I do because multiple different states have tried to arrest me for practicing law without a license. So I'm very limited in what I can do. And as you guys know, the powers that be are monitoring my channel. YouTube has me completely shadow banned. I'm surprised there's you know three or 400 people, 500 people in here because they just have me, I mean, it is what it is. As soon as you start to make a difference, they want to shadow ban you. I mean, every, you know, I tell you guys this and I mean it with the bottom of my heart. Every single person here should have the trifold in their car. You know what I was doing in there, sir? That's okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Every single person should have the trifold in your car. Every single person. I mean, I sell it for 30, I sell it for $9, I give it away for free. Now I've got about 100 people waiting for free trifolds, so I'll get them out to you. I gotta interview the, the parents of that kid that was murdered here in Philadelphia. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, so I'm a little bit busy right now, but tomorrow or the next day, I'll get on all the inquiry forms who sent me emails for free trifolds and I'll send it off to you guys. If you send me a request for a free trifold, I eventually will get to it. But as you guys know, I give away 
a thousand trifolds every week, maybe more, to people who don't have nine bucks. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Soy Leal's here, what's going on? I'm still running camera over here so that we still have this camera for a backup. I'm telling you, I, I could not go live inside of that DMV. I tried to go live and I couldn't get any internet. I tried, I definitely tried. Send the list unlinked, Mingo. Send the list unlinked to DLZ Clips. Big Mike Audits is here, everybody. Get over to Big Mike Audits and subscribe to Big Mike Audits. He, he's, a, he's a G on the phone. You should hear how he, how he just takes over the phone conversation. It's really, really, really fun to watch. He was on a live stream the other night with Indiana Auditor, and uh, I got to see him in action. It was a pleasure. I mean, even, even still here, I mean, I'm still literally flexing our rights right here in front of this DMV because I don't, I don't have to leave this public sidewalk right here. I can be here and I can film right here on this public sidewalk and it's my right to do so. And people don't understand if you don't flex your rights, you don't have any rights. It's just that simple. You guys know what I was doing in there? Just, just, sir, do you know what I was doing in there? Just curious. Okay, thanks for your time, appreciate it. They've already threatened to arrest me for disturbing the peace or causing a disruption. So I have to be very limited in my ability to be the press, which I think that's what's gonna get the lawsuit against those cops who came here and threatened me. You don't get to limit my ability to be press. You're chilling my first amendment right by threatening to arrest me for disturbing the peace when I didn't. Miss Rosa in there, she's the one who incited the riot. Yeah, I already interviewed him. He, he, he totally understood, he got it. It took him, it took him a second. Ma'am, do you mind if I ask you if you knew what I was doing in there? Take care. Take care. Did she explain to you? I just wanna make sure. I'm only staying here so people understand what I was doing. Yeah. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful toward anybody. She kinda of gave me one of these hands like this. You, got, you, have, you guys have to decide if you want to accept this government. Oh, I am God is in here. What's going on? I am God. Tenacious, how are you? I mean, they, they, the people in here, there was a lot of people who turned against me. Yeah, so uh, Brisque, what happened was the cops came here and he said he would arrest me if I didn't give him ID that he had probable cause to arrest me for disturbing the peace. So the problem is with that entire line of thought though is that the the dmv supervisor incited a riot by telling the people in here that she was going to close the dmv uh, ghetto rebellions uh pre-trial was thanks april was delayed because her lawyer is here her lawyer is actually here he, he was he was here to make sure in case i went to jail and and uh and her lawyer came here, drove across Pennsylvania to come here, and then they postponed it or delayed it. So that means that he's gonna have to come back out here again, have to get a car again, and drive out here again. How are you guys doing? They weren't in there, so they wouldn't know. See, what has to happen is I have to sue the supervisor of the DMV. That's what has to happen. Yeah, I, 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 I pulled out the old uh, Ironton vest to, to come up here. Because I, 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 I'm up here in Pennsylvania and it's dramatically colder than it is in LA or in Las Vegas. And so I knew, I, yeah. Do you guys know what I was doing in there? I just, I'm just curious to see if the people know. I just, I just, do you know what I was doing when they called the cops on me just now? Uh, no. I was filming inside of the public space and they, they, they called the cops and threatened to arrest me. Oh. So I just, did you see what happened? No. Oh, you guys didn't see it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. There's cars in front of me, but there were two buses coming. There was two buses coming. I'm sorry, what'd you say? They did the same thing to the dude from Long Island Mall. They shut the place down. Uh, I saw that. A couple weeks ago, yeah. And actually, the crowd chased him out. Yeah. He had to leave because yeah. he was, it, it, the crowd was threatening to attack him. I got a problem. You can film in public. You can film in public. You can film in public. 
it's you can like, FOIA it. You can it, freedom. You can no. right, and then you can zoom in on people's paperwork. Yeah, it's not like it's anything different. Right. People get a little upset. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw what they did to Long Island Audit, and I thought it was a real travesty that people threatened him with physical. Is, it, is that why you came all the way out here? Yeah. Well, not for him specifically, but I came out here because this DMV supervisor has closed this place down twice for another auditor who goes by Ghetto Rebellion, and uh, they arrested her right here on the sidewalk. You know, that's what he said that during his video. That's right. Yeah. Correct. Yep. You, you know, uh, he's a little busy right now because the, the, this guy named Pat Lynch is stalking him, trying to arrest him in New York. And he did have standing to sue, but he didn't file a lawsuit. So I'll file my lawsuit. Yeah. If not tomorrow, by Monday, I'll file a lawsuit against this DMV. I'm not going to tolerate what they're doing here. My first time here, I'm just doing the motorcycle test. Oh, is that your sickle? Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. That's a badass little motorcycle. Damn, that's, that's ballsy to do it on that thing. <laughs> He's doing his motorcycle test on that. Yeah, you know, I, we need more people when an activist stands up and fights for our rights. We need more people to join him, to join her. You know, and that's, we're seeing the failure of the, the ignorance of the American people. None of these people were in the DMV just now, and that just happened. So, I don't want to. I don't want to interview anybody who wasn't actually here. I mean, I showed them the exact procedures, the legal procedures they had to take to put the sign on the wall. I showed them. I taught them. How you doing, Munsa? Munasu? Munasu? How are you, Munasu? Good to see you. David, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks, David. Appreciate that. Really good stuff right there, David. Thanks. All right. I'm going to get out of here pretty soon. I think I've got enough. I think I have enough of the people. And then that the one person came out and said that she incited the riot by threatening to to close down Alfred how are you she incited a, a public disturbance by 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 threatening to to shut down the DMV thanks April I'm, I, I can't see a lot of these because the the texts are jumbled on the screen I'm not sure if you guys have experienced that before it's so annoying Grab my gear here. So this one has been rolling. This this camera has been rolling for an hour and forty five minutes. So I have the entire DMV encounter where I explain to the supervisor. I'm cutting that film right there. I explained to the supervisor that if she shut the DMV down, that I would sue her. I explained it to her. I gave her fair warning. God bless, dude. Delete laws is the channel if you want to watch it. All right, I'll and make sure you have a trifold when you travel. You use the trifold and you invoke the fifth. Immediately. I mean, invoke your fifth. Your fifth. Okay, thanks, bro. I will. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate your time. There it is. That's, that's well, it's not the actual flag, but that's what we're supposed to be fighting for right there. We're supposed to be fighting for freedom. That's the whole point of what we do. You have, a, you have a right to film in any public space. You have a right. It's your right. And if they take away that right, then you have to fight back. You cannot allow them to steal our rights. And that's what we're seeing here time and time and time again, is that they're stealing our rights and they're saying that you caused a public disturbance when it was plain as day that they caused the public disturbance by threatening to shut down the DMV. And that's wrong. You can't do that. Exactly correct. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna interview the 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 parents of the murdered kid in Pennsylvania. I'll get into more detail at another time. But I mean, just take a look. I, I mean, I practice what I preach. Just so you know, I have this in my pocket, and take a look. There it is, right there. 
with my registration and my driver's license right there ready to go. You wanna have your trifold, your registration, your proof of insurance, everything in your trifold immediately. And then when, you, when the cop pulls you over, your hands go to a touchdown position. This, this, this one's filming, this one's in the window so you don't get killed. These jackboot thug pigs will kill you in two seconds flat and they'll say that you were reaching and then you're dead. You gotta have your trifold up in the broccoli wad rubber band that I send to you in the mail. You have to have your hands up here like a touchdown position. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Don't think that you're above being murdered because you're white. They'll murder you. You reached. That jackboot thug pig is taught to be afraid. You can't reach in your glove box. You can't reach in your center console. Everything goes here. Here's my insurance, here's my registration, here's my driver's license. Everything is up here. If you reach, they're gonna kill you. It's not a joke. Why do you think I spend hours a week giving away free trifolds to people? Why do you think I do it? Because it could be the difference if you listen to my videos and you learned the touchdown position, just like a touchdown goal. But my elbows are bent, my hands are both up, the, the trifold is in this hand, my camera's in this hand. My hand never reaches below the steering wheel, ever. You better freaking listen to me. You better freaking listen. It'll be your cousin, your brother, your best friend, your lover who gets murdered because he put his hands down here. That's all it takes and the cops will kill you. They were scared for their life. It goes to the jury, it goes to the judge, a bunch of Karens and Kevins, and they go, yep, it was justified. He reached. There was nothing down there, but you're still dead. Your trifold goes up there. Your insurance registration and driver's license goes in the trifold. I can pull everything out right here with one shot. My hands never go below the steering wheel, ever, ever. It's not a joke, they'll kill your ass. All right, I gotta recompose myself here and I gotta get ready to go talk to these parents of this dead kid. They killed him. They killed him. They killed him. It's not, it's, people in that DMV were like, oh, clicks and likes and comments and views. Let me tell you what's gonna happen just to me personally tonight and I'm not the, the parents of the dead kid. I'm gonna break down crying tonight when I talk to these parents. I'm gonna sit there and cry I've cried so many times for this kid, you have no idea. Why do you think I send you a rubber band? Why do you think I put a rubber band in the package? Why do you think I do that? Why do you think I do it? I do it so you put it up in the visor. That's why I do it. That's why I do it. All right, if I didn't say your name, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Ricky, thanks for coming. All right, I'm gonna get the flock out of here. Your trifold goes up on your visor. Your insurance registration goes up there in it. You never put your hands below the steering wheel. You never reach. You immediately, when the cop pulls you over, as soon as he pulls you over, you give him your license, registration, proof of insurance. He says, do you know what, where, where you're heading? Do you know why I pulled you over? You immediately show him the camera. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. You show him. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I invoke my First Amendment right to speech and press. This is a police protest. Those are the steps you say. You're protesting police for them pulling you over. Dr. Donna, good to see you. You guys have got to get it. You got to get what I'm saying to you. Your $9 doesn't make or break me. It makes or break you. Your 30 bucks for this, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. This is how I make a living. It's not just about me. It's about you. It's about you not reaching below your dang steering wheel. It's about you not reaching. Do not reach to your glove box. You reach to your glove box, you're dead. I wish this was a joke. I wish this was a bad dream that we could wake up from. It's real, it's real. Avery, what's going on? Good to see you, man. Man, I'm loving watching those worlds all over again. I've watched them three or four times now. All right, I'm gonna get the flock out of here, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming. I'm nothing without the power of the people. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, Gators.